Hey, it's Dave with ExploringIt.com, and today we're here with a preview, a preview because it's not yet there, a preview of the 2022 Flower Garden Festival. Race weekend is done, the Festival of the Arts is over, and now we're gonna jump into spring. In the past, they've done some really cool stuff around during Easter. They'll do like a little Easter egg scavenger hunt. I hope they bring that back. Today, I'm gonna give you a preview of everything that I see that's up so far. And in 24 to 48 hours, this whole area behind me will be completely changed into the 2022 Flower and Garden Festival. And before we get started, I have to take this moment to ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe to this video so that you can follow Little Guy's Adventures all the way on up through his life. That's the whole point of the channel, right? We're gonna go exploring it. But until he's old enough to take over, I'll be holding down the fort. So we'll try and grab a shot of all the topiaries, the booths, and anything else that's up right now, and then we'll come back in two days and give you the full experience. All right, so first things first, we can get you a preview of Woody, Bo Peep, and the sheep. Now, if you see a bunch of these construction walls everywhere, that usually means that there's gonna be some more stuff hanging out. So there's gonna be a ton of really cool topiaries this year. And as you can see from the beginning, Woody, Bo Peep, and the sheep are awesome. Behind my shoulder here, a lot of the construction walls are still up for the Moana experience and for that fountain area that's going on. So expect a little bit of ugliness when it comes to that. Um, I don't know what the expected date will be for the construction, but it's probably not gonna be finished before the end of this festival. So get used to seeing those for a little while. Here's another good example of a construction wall that's up, and I guarantee you behind that is an awesome topiary project that somebody's working on. The tent from the paint by numbers area in the festival of the, of the arts is still here. It should be interesting. I wonder if that's going to be anything new. And as you can see over here, the butterfly garden should definitely be back for this year's festival. If you're looking to grab the best photo with Figment, why not grab a photo of Figment made out of flowers? And that's right, because out in front of Journey to Imagination is my favorite, the figment made of flowers. And then, if it's hot out still, you come head over here to the jumping fountains. I bring little guy out here sometimes just to relax, and he will play in the jumping fountains up there for hours if I let him. Simone and Pumbaa are chilling over here by themselves this year. And as the jammers perform behind me, I'll give you a sneak peek of the intro to Lion King Topiary, where the circle of life begins. In previous years, this was over in the World Showcase, but they moved it over here last year, and I gotta say, this is a really cool spot for it. And behind me now is the monorail. That's not what we're here to see, though. Look at this beautiful topiary design they created for the 50th. And it's one of the most beautiful I've seen in a long time, and I can't wait to come back and check it out when some of this other stuff is open, like this awesome playground area that they've had in the past. The kids have been able to like play on an xylophone and it's been like a really cool open music thing, but we'll see how it goes this year. I can't wait to bring little guy back on grand opening day and let him go explore it and we'll see how it looks. And in one of the favorite spots of the whole festival for photos by the Disney Pass people, you got Huey, Dewey, and Louie hanging out with Donald and Daisy with Mickey and Minnie leading the charge. If you're into butterflies, you're in luck this year because behind these topiary walls are a bunch of really cool butterfly photo opportunities. Another favorite selfie and topiary spot will be this Fantasia Mickey right out here at the beginning of the World Showcase as soon as you enter. For all you merch people, the festival merch is still gonna be here. I know a lot of times uh, the Flower and Garden Festival has a lot of Orange Bird stuff, so all you Orange Bird lovers, get excited about that sign right there. Now, I'm pretty excited about this one because you can get a Dole Whip at Epcot during this festival, and I guess this festival only, because usually you have to go over to Magic Kingdom, which isn't an issue, but right now, during the Flower and Garden Festival, grab a Dole Whip at the Pineapple Promenade. The Honey Bistro will be a cool area, and I don't have the menus up here, but you can go check out the menus. They put all of the menu items online this year. It saves me the trouble of having to walk the whole festival and <laughs> record all the signs for you guys. Just go online to the Disney website. You can see what all of the menu items are gonna be at all the different spots, but I like the theming out here. They have a bunch of really cool beekeeper type stuff with the boxes that the bees would hang out with. I have no idea what they're called, because I'm not a beekeeper, nor do I make honey. But somebody leave me a comment below and let me know. So I haven't seen any of the artwork for this year's festival because none of the signs are up yet. I love looking at all the different art that they do for all these festivals and uh, what would Disney be without artists? So it'd be pretty cool to check that out. Here's a shot of the festival map for you for this year. And a scan of the QR code so you 
can pull that up on your own on your phone and you'll know where everything is. In years past, they've had some stuff going on in the back, but during the art festival and the last Food and Wine Festival, nothing's been going on back here. Last year they had a cool uh, truck with all the different eggs and flowers and stuff. I'm curious to see if they're doing stuff in there still or if that's kind of done, and that was only during the pandemic. Another one of my favorite parts about this particular festival is that they're calling all of these the Outdoor Kitchens this year. And that's awesome to me because I have a YouTube channel called The Outdoor Kitchen. <laughs> I haven't done anything with it in about a year, but if you wanna go watch somebody cook some fun stuff in like a nice chill atmosphere, go check it out. It's called The Outdoor Kitchen. One of my favorite people is back. She used to be over there at the bar, and I have many memories of my younger years when I was hanging out listening to her play over there. I don't know if they'll move her back over there when it's open again, but right now you can come see her out here performing at all her She's back. Oh bother, here's a Winnie the Pooh made of flowers. And everybody likes rabbit, right? A really awesome piglet hanging out on top of Eeyore. I guess it'll work. And then you also got Tigger over here. And you know, since I'm staring at all these new flowers and stuff, it begs the question, like, how often do you think they change this? Does anything look different about this? All of you experts over at Alice's Garden, do you think they updated these for the festival? Now, he's always here, but if you're into these really cool topiary designs, which you probably are because this video is all about the uh, flower and garden preview, swing on over here and grab a look at the cool Remy that lives out in front of Remy's adventure. So there's a sign out front that says this is still called the Encanto Kitchen, Cocina, which makes sense because that movie just came out and Disney would still want to promote it. But this sign back here says that it's La Isla Fresca. Either way, it's some really cool designs out front. It's a nice atmosphere, more like a tropical vibe to it, and I dig it. I can't wait to eat some of these delicious empanadas or any of the other cool stuff that they have going on over here. So while they prepare for new and exciting productions, let me tell you how excited I am about this. Disney is bringing back the concert series at the American Pavilion at Epcot, and it's one of my favorite events. This year, it's called the Garden Rocks Festival. Some of the usual bands will be there, like the Guess Who, my, one of my favorites, Starship, featuring Mickey Thomas. We built this city. Cool and the Gang and all the other guys. But there's also gonna be some really big name new additions like Blue October, Tommy DiCarlo, singer of the band Boston, and Ambrosia with Peter Beckett. So grab a bite at the Magnolia Terrace, go swing on over, do some shopping at the festival market, and then go catch a show over here at the American Pavilion. If you go back in to Italy, and where the pizzeria is and the cool place where you get gnocchi, you see this awesome Lady and the Tramp. So Pierre. And Italy's got some pretty cool themes, like these awesome flowers that are hanging from the staircase up there. This is a pretty cool little area over here. It looks like an expansion of the Choo Choo Train Tracks area, that little guy and all of his friends seem to love so much. During the Festival of the Arts, this was more of a Bavarian kitchen, and during the Flower Garden Festival, it looks like it's gone back to its roots. A little bit more of a German theme called the Barnmarkt, Farmer's Market. Looks like out in front of China, they got some really awesome panda bears that are playing around and having fun. No bamboo though, interesting choice. And of course, over here in Norway, how can you not have Anna and Elsa? I wonder if Olaf and Sven and all the rest are out here anywhere. I didn't find any other Frozen characters, but I did find this really cool old school gnome. Kind of like an homage to the old Norway ride that used to be. Get the three caballeros performing over here. Who knows what song they're singing? Because they're just flowers, you know, but <laughs> they look really cool. So these things caught my eye too. I have absolutely no idea what they are. If you know what these things are, leave a comment below and let me know so I can come back. Uh, I'm gonna guess they're either like some form of bird feeder or maybe they're some type of uh, flower that's gonna grow out of them. I have no clue. Somebody let me know what these things are. It looks like Daisy's got a really cool spot to hang out over here now in her own garden that she made right across from the new Gardens of the Galaxy ride. Bye Daisy, have a great day. So that does it for my preview of the 2022 Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. Minnie's back there. It's going to be a fun time in two days when all the signage will be up and the real party starts. Thanks for watching, everybody. I can't wait to go on another adventure with you.